Transport Ministry looks at launching Thailand's own shipping line to support economic growth. Thailand, whose GDP is 50% driven by exports, has a 90% deficit in shipping tonnage putting the kingdom's exporters and importers at a disadvantage. A new national shipping firm would also help optimize the return achieved by the government in its ongoing development of port infrastructure as part of the country's national development strategy. The Minister of Transport, this week, set up a task force to explore plans to establish a national shipping company to tackle a 90% national deficit in shipping capability in a country that is so dependent on international trade and freight. The task force is to report within one year with an action plan to be considered by the cabinet. Minister of Transport Saxayam Chidchob announced a task force this week to examine an action plan to be completed within one year aiming to establish the kingdom's own shipping line in concert with the Marine Department and the Royal Thai Navy which will be asked to look at the training of crews for vessels which will be aiming to take some of the 90% deficit currently seen in the shipping tonnage for Thai international trade valued at 1.3 trillion a year. This week, the Minister of Transport, Saxayam Chidchob, announced that he has ordered a review to be conducted into the establishment of a national shipping line to assist in the development of Thailand's trade with the rest of the world and to make the country more efficient as an international transport hub for freight. He explained that the new initiative would be pursued by both the Ministry of Transport and the Port Authority of Thailand. A working group is to be established chaired by Mr. Atarit Ritanisat who will gather the research and analysis into the project. Action plan and report to be completed ready to present to the cabinet for review within 12 months. This will include issues regarding the market and demand, operational plans as well as the proposed regulation and ownership framework for such a venture. The goal is that within the year, an action plan will have been prepared which can then be reviewed by the cabinet. The committee established to review the project will be called the National Shipping Line Preparation Committee and, at this time, it is envisaged that the new entity to be established will be called the National Shipping Line Limited discussions to be opened with the Royal Thai Navy on finding trained crews for the new shipping line officials have also been tasked with liaising with the Royal Thai Navy to prepare plans to train staff and crews for a maritime transport organization. This will also involve discussions with the Marine Department at the Ministry of Transport in association with the Office of Transport and Traffic Policy and Planning whose mission will be to prepare operational plans for the new venture. Foreign ownership considered but the key goal will be to allow managerial flexibility of the enterprise. The minister has also explained the government will look closely at the ownership of the new shipping line which may involve it taking a preferential shareholding. It may also consider opening up investment or ownership of the national shipping concern to foreign entities. However, Mr. Saxayam stressed that the plan's priority will be to allow the new entity the greatest possible flexibility in managing and developing the new transport firm to achieve the best performance. Kingdom currently has a 90% shipping deficit planners within the Ministry of Transport believe that the market exists for a viable entity and point to Thailand's current 90% deficit in shipping activity linked with both inbound and outward trade from the kingdom. A large proportion of the kingdom's GDP is linked to international trade with 50% alone generated by the country's growing export industry. The absence of a substantial presence in the shipping market puts the economy at a competitive disadvantage. Currently, Thailand is limited to smaller vessels with limited tonnage amounting to not more than 10% of the required capacity. 1.33 trillion baht a year market at stake if the shipping concern can be viably launched and developed it is estimated that the financial loss to the kingdom because of this is 1.33 trillion baht or the equivalent of over half the kingdom's foreign tourism income for the record-breaking year in 2019. Mr. Saxayam explained that up to now, the kingdom has been prioritizing infrastructural development of its deep sea ports at Bangkok and Lim Chaban in Chonburi as well as the Sriracha Harbour deep sea port in addition to regional seaports. This new initiative will, if it gets the green light, help give the kingdom greater control over the transport of cargo to and from Thailand. It may also assist in ensuring greater use and development of the country's port infrastructure while offering both exporters and importers a more stable and advantageous trading environment.